Hubble had a blast recently. The space telescope, for the first time ever, watched a star's final moments in detail as a black hole twisted it into a donut shape. Don't blame black holes, though. They don't hunt. They're just very dense, so dense that they completely twist space-time around them. When a star gets too close to a black hole, the star falls into its grasp and gets violently ripped apart in an event known as the Tidal Disruption Event. In the latest observation, Hubble watched a black hole shoot out intense radiation as it was slurping matter from a nearby star and distorting its spherical shape into a twisted strand of glowing matter. This event is sometimes known as spaghettification, because in such situations even whole objects like stars turn into thin, noodly shreds. The star lies about 300 million light years away at the core of the ESO 583-G004 galaxy, and Hubble can't photograph this event due to this distance. However, the space telescope used its powerful ultraviolet sensitivity to study the light from the shredded star, which includes hydrogen, carbon, and more. The spectroscopy provides forensic clues to the black hole homicide, NASA said in a statement. The spectroscopic data came from a very bright, hot, donut-shaped area of gas that was once the star. This area, known as a torus, is the size of the solar system and is swirling around a black hole at the center. Black holes are more or less invisible, so such a discovery is really hard to make. But scientists used a phenomenon called gravitational microlensing to assess the object's mass. As an object passes through space in front of a star, gravity causes the light to warp. Depending on how the light is altered, astronomers can estimate the object's size. Using different telescopes, scientists have detected about a hundred tidal disruption events today. According to NASA, for any given galaxy with a quiescent central supermassive black hole, stellar shredding happens only a few times every 100,000 years. To make it clear, no one knows if the massive object is 100% a black hole. Two science teams analyzed the Hubble data and both found a compact object. Scientists from the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore estimated the object is seven times more massive than the Sun, which suggests it's a black hole. But the other team from the University of California, Berkeley, found the compact object to be between 1.6 to 4.4 solar masses. This could suggest the object is a neutron star instead. So, more studies are needed to conclude the findings. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.